This is another video, part of the B course we have been conducting with some of the Falcon BMS students, to teach them and show them how to grow and learn the way of the Falcon BMS. Most of these type of videos have been live streamed here on YouTube and Twitch and then uploaded here on the channel. I would highly recommend checking them out. It is a B course playlist down below in the description. This mission we add some ground school before the BFM exercises using the Art of the Kill by Pete Panani. You may have seen one of his videos on YouTube talking about fighter pilot tactics. Here we are referencing the PDF file that can be downloaded online, talking about Art of the Kill. We go over a few things that I thought was important. We go over how to perform BFM, positional geometry, the WES, or weapon and deployment zone, one circle and two circle fights, and much more. Then we get into the cockpit and watch the students fight and explain their thoughts. Remember, none of us are experts in any way. I know I might have said some of the wrong things in this video, but I believe it is all good content and worth sharing. We are all teaching and explaining what we have seen in our experiences playing Falcon BMS and reading the appropriate documentation. I have included the chapters for easy viewing. This video may be long, but I am sure someone will enjoy it and learn something as I did. Like always, check out the description for all of my Aviation Plus Store stuff, where all purchases directly support the channel. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. See ya. I know, it's great. So yes, you would want to lead the bandit to catch up. Um, yeah, it's that. So, flying particularly to each other. The range, obviously the range is your head distance. Uh, aspect angle, we just slightly went over that. So this is a different aspect angle, 180 degrees, uh, like high aspect. You're, you're like a high angle of attack or high aspect going towards the target. And low aspect would be a, a, uh, a lesser like less than 40 or yeah less than 45 degrees so if you had a, like a and 10 80 is backwards yeah an 80 is backwards so if you have a 10 degree right aspect it's a low aspect uh uh interception so, and then attack ge uh geometry this is what we're talking about lead in front pure is right on and then lag is just b behind uh Lag is when your nose is your nose pointed behind the aircraft. This is to to if you're not if you're not being as aggressive. So you want to get on the target. You want to stay with the target, but you don't want to lead them and bleed off speed. So lag is just like you're chilling, like you're just trying to stay behind the bandit and gain some speed or or trying to get the bandit to make a mistake. Uh, pure is when your nose is fixated on the aircraft. This is used to shoot missiles, pointing the nose at the bandit, uh, approaching with pursuit. Uh, could lead into an overshoot as well. Same thing with lead. So you only want, only want to use pure when you're about to attack. You don't want to be in pure the entire time because you have that possibility of overshooting. And then lead is if you want to use your guns and also missiles as well because you could give the missile a, a less uh, angle to turn off from. So mm -hmm. you want to stay in lead when you're about to attack as well. And if you go into lead, you have a possibility of overshooting. So be careful. Um, when you're shooting, you want to place a you want to go to go lead the target because you want to place a wall of bullets in front so the target can flow through those wall of bullets. Uh, let's see. Yep, lag or pursuit, approach the bandit, maneuver out of plane, peer pursuit, shoot missiles at the enemy. Lead pursuit also uses gunshots. Yep, lots of words in here. And flight path marker is good to to uh, go off of, but usually if you're pulling too many G's, this flight path marker is like all the way down here. So mm -hmm. I know everyone could tell when you're when your lead or when your lag or when your uh, pure pursuit. So go off of your nose and what you could see through the through the HUD. And this is a uh, lift vector. So we'll, I think we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, you always want your lift vector to be pointing. See this arrow pointing towards your enemy, the enemy. So you want to give them as much of a problem, basic fighter maneuver problem to get on you. If this if uh if this is the bandit right here and your lift vector is pointing upwards, then you're just going to be making a loop and this bandit could just come right in behind you. But if you were to turn horizontally because the bandit is right behind you, then it will create a a harder angle for the bandit to, to come off of kind of hard without my without my sticks but uh it, it'll it'll all make sense once you get in there and once we go over the the uh the tack view and stuff 
So basically, if, if you're trying to get away from someone, you're not gonna you're not gonna halfway cut the corner. You're gonna you're gonna like cut the corner completely so they can have to go around the entire corner because you're in the air. So there's not really any corners, but in a general sense. Uh, that's some stuff. Weapons envelope. So yeah, we have the R Max and R Min. So you want to stay out of both of these. If you're going mm -hmm. if you're uh, on the defensive side. So uh, R Min is good for the missiles, and once the missiles are within minimum range, you switch to guns. Uh, mm. yeah. Offensive BFM. Let's see if I can go to page thirty-four. Page 34, Introduction to Offensive BFM. See how it here is, after Bandit's turn, aspect angle is 50 degrees right, so you're 50 degrees to the right of the Bandit. Your angle off is 120, depending on which, which direction the Bandit is like is flowing. On, on this one. Um, so this is an overshoot, so if you lead the target the entire way, you'll you'll be in front now. Now you're you're screwed. So with this, you would want to lag the target so you could be either lag or pure, so you can stay behind the bandit, or you could have the bandit turn, and you keep going straight to uh, delay that turn so you can stay behind without getting in front. Thirty-four. Uh, turn rate and turn radius, page thirty-six. So two characteristics of turn and turns are turn radius and turn rate and frank to tank i think i i uh, gave you that question on that one it was very good you explained it pretty well so your turn radius is how what the time is or the actual space you're taking to make a turn and then the turn rate is the amount of time you you get like you're making i don't know like 10 degrees per second or 30 degrees per second so and it all depends on your on your speed if you're going slower and turning the same g's as if you were going faster, the the turn radius would be more as you're turning faster. Actually, no, the turn radius. Yeah, the turn radius would be more as you're as you're turning, but the turn rate would be quicker. But you have more radius to go over, so it kind of evens out. So we'll talk about it later with the one circle and two circle. But uh, you have to use these interchangeably. If you're if you're slow, you would want to you have good turn rate. Actually, correction. If you're slow, you have good turn radius, but you don't have a good enough turn rate. So it's always good. It, it it's it's all fine and dandy when you put your nose on the target in a in a a good amount of time or a good a, like space a good amount of space. But if it's all about timing, if you get your nose on the target within two seconds, it's just a generalization. If you get the no your nose on the target within two seconds, and the other person get can get the nose on the target within 500 feet, one of those could be faster than the other one. But you always want, it, depending on your speed, you want to have, uh, depending on your speed, you want to kind of put it into a one circle or a two circle. Really wish I had my sticks. I just like, forwarded you a link. Okay, where? On your personal private message. Ooh. So you can get sticks. Nice, seventy bucks. It's not bad. It's not too terrible. It's not bad. It's not hundreds. I know. Yeah. You can get them with whatever squadron you want. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna yeah. switch over to my Thanks. quick reference. So on here, this is in the Korea basic envelope or a uh, what's it called? The BEM. Mm -hmm. The uh, yeah, it comes with Falcon BMS. And this is a generalization of, of speeds. So I think I showed uh, Rody this not too long ago and yep. a prom date as well. So on here, this is a turn rate slash radius slash I forget what this, I think this is energy bleed. Yeah, so it's the energy that you're bleeding or gaining. So for example, you're going and you're going 400 knots, right? 0.78 Mach. Uh, true airspeed is 49, 495 and feet per second is that. So this is your line. So you're going to go over here, or you want to pull, let's say you want to pull completely 9Gs. You want to crank it. So you want to go all the way to 9Gs. So this first number is your turn rate. So you're turning at uh, 19, I think it's 19 degrees per second. So you're turning at 19 degrees per second. And then the next one is 2.5K. So that's 2,500 feet. In 2,500 feet, 
you'll make, I think it's a 180. Pretty sure it's a 180. So in two and a half thousand feet, you'll make a 180. But you'll be decreasing 44 knots every second. So you'll be bleeding off speed like a madman. So let's bring this back to 6 Gs. So if you want to pull 6 Gs at 400 knots, your your turn rate is less. So you're turning uh, slower, actually. So you're turning slower, and your your radius is, is, is wider, but you're not losing any speed. So you can kind of, it depends on your speed and your Amount of, G, amount of G's you want to pull. So this would be a good even area if you don't want to lose too many G's or too many knots so you can kind of keep your speed up because speed is life uh, unless you're in a, a downwards yo-yo where speed is actually death. So it just uh, depends. If you're going downwards you want to keep as slow as possible. But in a horizontal turn horizontal yo-yo you want to keep this. So another example um, let's see plus, plus 5. So if you're going 375 knots and you want to pull five G's, you'd be a 11 and a half degrees per second. You'd be turning at three and a half thousand, uh, th three point eight thousand feet, uh, your your radius, and then you'll actually be gaining speed in that turn. So all of this is an afterburner. So you have to be in maximum afterburner to do this. So you'll actually be gaining speed and still turning a good a good amount. And then the moment if the other person's going nine G's, they might turn on you quicker. But you'll just you'll have speed, so you can always you'll just have more more options when it comes to comes to that. But but like I said, it's always dynamic, and it just depends on the situation. There's never black and white answer ever. It just depends on on everything. Everything is fluid. Yep, yeah. everything is fluid and dynamic. So yeah, so this is a good picture. So five G's, six G's is good for like a sustained. You want to keep this for a while, and then six G's or uh, nine G's when you want to get the nose around and basically lose all your speed within probably like five seconds. You'll be going zero basically, uh, 10 seconds or so. So you want to be careful with that. A uh, whole bunch of numbers down here. Average turn rate, 16 degrees per second, 100, uh, this is idle. And then mill, average of six, max G pull for six seconds. So you'll, your average turn rate will be 16 100 degrees, 16, 10 degrees at mill. Uh, using the gun sight, pretty sure no, everyone kind of knows how to use the gun sight. Stream quality, change windows. Oop. Gun sight page 50. So the gun sight has a, has two, has a plus sign. It'll be about here and it has a circle. Mm -hmm. So the plus sign is is the uh if you're like one g that's the 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 less part of the of the turn so if you're turning super super hard you want to put it at the the marker down here which it'll be a uh, a circle I, I wish i had a picture but we'll, we'll see it in there but th there's basically a circle at the or a plus sign at the top a line in the middle and then uh a circle at the bottom which is the first one is 1g if you if you're if you and the bandit are pulling 1g then you want to shoot at the top line if you're pulling about 5g's there's a middle line or a middle symbol and at the bottom there's that circle where if you're both pulling like 9g's you want to put them all the way down here cuz it's the bullets are going to be uh spread out more and you want to have the bandit down here but uh when you when you pull the the, the bandit into your crosshairs, you want to pull high G and shoot, so you pull G's to get the, the bullet flow in front of them, and then you ease it off while you're shooting, so it'll bring it downwards across the, the jet. And then, of course, when they're up here, you see he's firing. So you're putting that wall of bullets in front of their jet so they can fly through it. Hmm. Uh, defensive BFM, page 63. Three. So... If you're defensive, uh, you can do whatever you want. So you're you're trying to stay alive. So you could pull nine G's for five seconds and go to zero speed. Like you you do whatever you want. So before you can defend an attack, you must detect the other. You must detect that you're under attack. So always get a tally on the other on the enemy because once you lose tally, you're done. Like you can't see the person anymore. So you're fighting nothing. 
even though he's still there. <laughs> uh, def- defending, detecting an attack, you got to make sure they're there, and just keep an eye on them, padlocked. Uh, let's see, defending a missile. So when you're defending a missile, you, you should be padlocked on the bandit behind you. So you should be able to see the missile off the rail. It's like a poof, of, a poof of smoke. So a good uh way to get away from that, or a good tactic to counteract getting shot at with missiles. IR missiles, that is, is to uh, defend the I- IR missile to snap the throttle to idle to get rid of your, your heat signature of your jet and pop at least three flares. So you go snap to idle, pop three flares, and break hard into the turn that the bandit is coming at you. So you do all those three things at the same at the same time. Idle, pop three flares, and turn, all, all like simultaneously. So you can change aspect, change direction, Take out your your uh, your heat signature and introduce the flare, another one, so it could go after the flare instead of you. And you're trying to get that 90 degree aspect to get the cooler part of your jet closer to the uh, in line of the missile, so it'll be like, oh, there's no more there's no more heat heat signature over there, but there's a flare over here, so it'll go after the flare. Uh, when you're when someone is on your tail, create BFM problems for them, like I was saying before. So you create BFM problems for them, keeping your lift vector pointed toward the enemy so you could create that uh, geometry that uh, that angle so they can't get you to keep them out of your your weapon uh, employment zone so you're just kind of creating problems for them and if they seem like uh, they're in a good spot uh, like I was telling Rhodey uh, if you're someone's behind you and they go lead for a little bit they're probably gonna shoot you so at that moment you need to change your your uh, you need to roll vector. like 180 degrees and then like pull and like change your vector, go a different direction. So once they start setting up for a shot, you moved, so you're gone. So the bullets go past you. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is this is why it's important to always be looking behind you at the bandit. Because I think I did it with prom date in that video. I was uh, he was behind me, focus, 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 and I was slowly slowing down, and then he come up, he come, came up in front of me. Yep. And I just watched that video a few minutes before we started. Yeah, it's always good. So when they're behind you, they're focused. They're trying to get you. So you just slowly bring your so so don't pull it pull uh, don't pull out your speed brakes. It's obvious. So just slowly yep. bring back your your throttle, and and they'll pass right by you. Hmm. When it comes to humans, AIs, who knows? They're probably they're just they're freakish. Because humans yeah, make mistakes, it. and AIs they they know everything. Um. When in doubt, when you're in a like in the in the merge, when in doubt, do not reverse the turn. So if you don't know where he is, don't know where the person is, just just keep turning. There's no reason to, to reverse. Um, mm. On here, on page uh, 74, there is some uh, information here where it says, when in doubt, don't over don't. Uh, about the bandit's overshoot, do not reverse your turn. It is best to reverse the, when the bandit is overshooting your flight path inside of 2,000 feet. So if they're close to you, that's the best time to to uh, reverse your turn because they, ha- they don't have enough time to actually follow you. So if you reverse and they're 2,000 feet behind you, they don't, they don't have enough time to, to reverse the turn. Because if you, you reverse the turn, pull like 9 Gs, you already displaced yourself like 100, 200 feet. So that's like 10%. Of how far how far away they're behind you, but mm-hmm. if you're outside of three thousand feet, there's no reason to reverse a turn because they have enough time to correct and get behind you again. Hmm. Uh, the snake. On oh, here, they talked about the snake, which is a maneuver. Uh, the snake, popular guns jink, currently in vogue with the F-16 community called the snake. So, basically. When you see the bandit pulling on your no- like behind you, he's pulling nose, uh, pulling his nose to lead you. You unload rapidly on your stick, and you roll 180 degrees, and go in the opposite direction, changing your your space, changing your direction. Hold this course and make the bandit pull his nose lead back to lead. So he's making for another another approach, and then you do it again, and then you just keep doing that back and forth. That's that'll. That'll get them all confused and, and frustrated, and, and as I said, you slowly start bringing the 
the uh, the throttle back, and they'll be fixated, and they'll fly right fly right in front of you. But as he says in here, this maneuver is not magic. The bandit is highly if the bandit is highly skilled, he'll probably kill you. But, yeah, that's one of the questions you, you gave me. Yeah, so it, it's that's the only thing you could do, really, in that sense, or unless you have a, a wingman, which usually we do, but in this case, we'll be one on one. You'll have your wingman come up behind him and try to get him to to wave off. Uh, page 100. Go into one circle and two circles. So, who here has heard of one circle and two circle before? Me. Yeah. I briefly went through it. I uh, have I while... It. And I have while watching the DCS dogfights between various things on Scorpion's channel. Oh yeah, yeah, they had a lot. I think, uh... Growling Sidewinder does a little bit, and different yes. people do it. Yeah, they talk about all. Growling that. Sidewinder, I like his videos. Yep, he's pretty good. So with a a two circle, see if they explain it in here. A two circle fight. So in this in this right here, so this the distance between you and the bandit is is far, relatively far. So this would be a good position to be if you have missiles. So if if you have guns and the other bandit has missiles, you do not want to make a two circle fight, because this is a. I, I may be wrong. I think it's a it's a. Uh, You're going radius. head to head with them. It's a radius fight, I believe. Yeah. So as long as your if your radius is is shorter than the other person, then you're going to get, uh, between the weapon employment zone, shoot off a missile. So if you if you don't have missiles and the other bandit does, you don't want to be in a two circle. But obviously, if the other way is around, you have missiles, and the other band d does not have missiles, then you want to be on a two circle. And then when it comes to one circle, when when this uh, when everybody finishes their circle, you're closer together. How cl close together you are. So this is good. This is outside the wes, outside the minimum for missiles. So this is why you want to go into a one circle for. If the other bandit has missiles, because this is the outside the web, this, but this is beyond or uh, within the minimum, so they can't shoot missiles. But the guns work perfectly fine. So this is a tactic to use if you know for some reason that they have missiles and you don't. You want to be as close together as possible, like a, a knife fight in a phone booth. So you're trying to be as close together as possible because you have guns and, and they have missiles and they can't shoot it off because they're too close. Um. Yeah, that was uh about it. I just wrote it like literally yesterday. I spent like twenty minutes coming up with some stuff. But as everyone's saying, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, and uh, probably be hours before we can go over all of it. But recommend reading over it a little bit. But I went through some of the stuff that I saw in here. I know I missed some things, but there's always some really good stuff in here. Uh, question. Uh, you sent. You posted a uh, PDF of Art and Kill. Yes. The one that I got wasn't wasn't this one because the one that I got was uh, sort of like pictures of every page. Right. Oh. So so this is still is still pictures. Yes, it is still pictures. Yeah. So so uh, I think if you if you press like Control F and try to search for something, it'll it'll mm -hmm. it'll create it as words. It'll calculate it and convert it to words oh okay copy yeah so you gotcha. press control f search something it'll be like are you want to convert this page to words and you press yes it'll do it you can you can find things and highlight stuff hmm. but yeah um yeah good stuff all right yeah, I did. <laughs> um that's about it for me any other questions or um, scenarios we would want to talk about. Uh, what theater are we using? Just regular KTO. Right. The huge. Alright, I'm going to stop streaming. Can we use what? KTT starts Thursday? It's interesting that if you are going to go for a min radius turn, you are always going to start bleeding energy. Whereas, yep. if you, whereas you can keep uh, your rate up if you're smart and keep it right around that six G, yeah, that middle zone you know, five six, yeah, yeah, four hundred like knots and six Gs, that. yeah, you can maintain it. And 
but but you it's you know, if you're going to go with a minimum radius turn, it's basically you got one shot. Yeah, it's an aggressive. I don't have time for this um, YOLO type of thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, at that point, you're in a radius fight anyway, yeah. so yeah. I mean, you would only use it then. But you better finish it fast, basically, because exactly. you, you're probably not going to get another chance. All right, so I'm launching the launching the server. So I have. Um, a couple of people go against the AI and have them stream their their uh, their BMS, and then we'll do a couple of people. We'll we'll watch all, all that. I'll go over some things, and if anybody else wants to go over, we'll go over some stuff during that, and then we'll do some one on one stuff. And of course, we're going to be uh, so if if you're if you're going up against the AI, can you uh, please remember to turn on your Acme? Make sure we could so we can look it, look it up later. But if we're going uh, against one on one against me, I'll I'll be have my Acme on. So if whenever you're going to a fight, make sure someone has the Acme on. Got it. Cool. cool. I'm host. All right, my connection is established. But uh, since we're doing against AI, and we're going to be watching. We could just uh, go on single player. I'm going to have, let's see, I'm going to have Frank the Tank go first. So you can just go into single player and just do against AI. Roger. Dog, you mean dog, dog fight mode? Yes, dog fight mode. Furball. Guns only? Yes. So yeah, uh, Frank, go to dog fight, press match play. Roger. And yep. then uh, commit online. Make sure your invulnerability is off. Uh, which server are we using? Are we using Ripper or Prom Dates? We're, we're using single player for now. Got me. So just, so just use your regular single player. And then go to that. Once you're on this, the screen that has the uh, the uh, the four different teams on there, Go ahead and choose your uh, your jet, which would be a block forty, F sixteen C block forty. Do you know how to change your uh, your jet there, Frank? Uh, one on um, which one do you want me to choose? The F sixteen C M dot uh, block forty. Hey, Frank, I want to be claw one. I already changed it. I already changed it. <laughs> Well, this is this is Rogley. It'll. I don't know if we could go in when I'm not in. So yeah, yeah. Frank is this on single player for now? Right. So, uh, Frank, go ahead and start your stream for Discord. One moment. But we're still going onto your server, right, Prime? Not not at the moment. Like it'll sure. be later later on. We're gonna do a couple people with the uh, single player for uh, AI. And then later on, we'll do 1v1 on my server. Oh. Do, you, do you have a preferred adversary for this exercise? You could do uh, a aggressor. So let's do aggressor 16. Okay. What is that? All right, one moment. I'm, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. All right, Frank is live. Cool. Oh, you said block 50 or block 52? 40. Block 40. Block 40, my bad. So yeah, choose block 40 and then the put, in, one. put on the orange team a uh, block or a aggressor. I think it's a block 32. Little plus, plus sign. You see join? Go to the plus sign. Yep. Plus with the jet on it. And drop down to... Uh, the 3264th Aggressor Squadron. Yep, F-16C. And then go to Skill as uh, Ace. And then press OK. So now you have that. Go ahead and go to Range. Set that to 20. Points is 3. And take away all the missiles. Uh, what do you want the range? The rank, uh, go to 15. 15 is good. 
and then take away the radar missiles, all aspect and rear aspect. Yep, that should be good. Um, place the, see that green box on your map? Place that over by Japan. Over, yep, right over there. That'll that'll work. Okay, so that's you. Block 16, Tomcat, range, altitude. Uh, make the altitude to 20,000. All right, and you should be good. So go ahead and press takeoff, and we'll be watching you. And, and if you could, if, if you have the chance, kind of explain what you're doing. Just, just a little bit, not every single move, but kind of just explain to us what you're what you're th th thinking about in your head. Right. Dim these light. Twitchy. Yeah. And lights are off. Are we? Lights are supposed to be on or off for the dogfight? Off. Yeah. Alright, so he locked on to him, so that's good. Make sure your master arm, yep, good, cool. At this point, he's going to try to kill you with the lights on or off, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, it's not too much of a big of a deal. If it was nighttime, then probably, but AIs are, they don't care about anything. Alright, so, so Frank, uh, take your feet off the rudder. So where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where's he at? Okay, you just... Oh, I'll save it. Oh, snap. It is uh, yeah. mandatory to not use rudder pedals at all during combat? Well, if you're slow, it's good to use rudder, but fast is not really a good idea. Roger. That's a way to spin the plane. Yeah. But maybe once you want to do. Uh, what was his difficulty level? Ace. So he's gonna he's trying to he's gonna try to get you. Stay firm. So right now you kind of just lag. So kind of ease off of the, on the G's. Ease off on the G's. Right. Just like there's, there's no threat. You're behind him. You got control. So just kind of get speed. Get a better uh better the angle. Range is terrible. Don't, don't try to shoot. Yeah, now. just just You're way far away. Yeah, just uh, okay. You'll never hit him. Uh, Frank, can you pause it? Press P. So look on your on your your uh your HUD. the two lines. See the little circle. Yeah, your, your little circle kind of go down a little bit, and you see that vertical at that not vertical but that uh straight line. Yes, you see that straight line, and you see that little dot right there. Yes, that button has to be on the plane. Yeah, that has to be on the aircraft. So, uh, and that that lower line is your high G line. So if you're both, that's what I was talking about. If you have, if you're both pulling high Gs, you want to put them at at that lower line. If you're both pulling like one or two Gs, it'll be the higher one. Once you pull more Gs, there'll be another symbol that comes up in between there, in between the the solid long line and the uh, the funnel. So go ahead and press pa uh, unpause. Go ahead and continue. Okay, pause it. Pause it. Okay, kind of flowed a little bit more. It kind of went in the way. You mean to unpause it? Yeah, unpause it. Trying to get that symbol. Keep going. Okay, pause it. All right, you see oh, it kind of fixes itself. But you saw that little circle that went towards the plus sign now? It, it's not there anymore, but there's a plus sign and there's a circle around it. So You can see how they overlap. Yeah, they kind of overlap a little bit. So that circle is like the medium area so as you're turning and that lower small line is like the 9g line and then this the plus sign is the 1g line or the 1g symbol and that center circle will be the the medium area so if you're pulling like 6g's then that'll be a good area to hit them but if you're pulling 9g's you want to have that small line below the bottom small line on the on the bandit actually in front of the bandit and then you shoot, and you ease up on the on the stick to kind of put that wall of bullets in front of them. So it's kind of symbol hey symbology on there. But if you if you can't, don't forget to uh, record Acme. Yeah. Give me that. Um. 
How do you record it? Uh, does anybody know the, the Alt F? Alt the quick... F is the keyboard okay. for cycling it. Um, you should be able to, if you look down on the panel to your lower left, you should be able to see the switch. But if I think if you hit Alt F twice, it should put it in the right place. So I think if you, is it uh, how do you is it Shift P for freeze? Uh, okay. I think it's Shift P. Alt P? Alt P. So Frank, try try Shift P first. See what happens. Press Shift and uh, P. Do you have to be unpaused? Uh, you can leave it. It'll should go back to sh uh, freeze. Okay, cool, sweet. So so now you could uh, zoom out and go to your your left side where your Acme is. All right, keep going down the panel. Keep going aft. Right there. Pause it. Stop right right there. Now go forward. Just one more panel up T towards your towards your throttle. Right there. Okay, it's almost there. So go a little bit aft. You see Frank, that? Oh, look. right there, right there. You see that AVTR panel? Yeah. So you see that? Uh, was that un unthread? So you see the event mark right. record? So go towards you a little bit. Yes, there on on that panel right there. So go to record. Click it twice. And I'm pretty sure that's record, because a event mark, actually, I think they got it backwards. So put it on event mark, and that'll record everything. I remember them saying that's it's a it's a bug. And what's it? What's it recording? The HUD? It's recording. You you know how you go in the deep debrief and you have all the people going everywhere. You kind of go we go go over the debrief and stuff, in TAC view. So that's what that is. It's a gun cam. No, it's a situation recorder so it records everybody's positions and speed and aspect and angles and stuff so we could look at it in tack view so okay. yeah go ahead and continue press uh yeah that's p and it should continue yep oh you're doing better there Very you go good. you got him that's nice so it'll, it'll should reset shortly and then it'll put you in a position again Boom. Is your uh is your head tracker too sensitive or something? Uh no, I just set it up like that cuz so I can um move around quickly. Okay. It feels it like I'm watching a first person shooter in Call of Duty or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I meant to have it like that. Okay. Well, if, have, if it works I'm for you, then, then cool. But uh, it's kind of making me nauseous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... I don't know. Lock onto the target and just keep your eye on them. And I, I want you to go into a, a one-circle <laughs> fight. So kind of turn the same direction that the bandits turn, if you can. Always oh, hard to, to do that. If it was two humans, humans, we could say always turn to the right. The left and the right. Where'd he go? Where'd he go, Frank? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So, yeah. See, now you lost all your speed. And I don't know how fast the Pulled bandit's going, hard. but. Yeah, you went full too hard. Oh, I was supposed to go one circle. I'm so used to doing, uh, doing scissors. No, it's good. Oh, he's behind no, it's you. It's the same thing. Do, uh, remember defensive. Well, first you got to find him. Where'd he go? Oof. Oh, wonderful. Nice knowing you. <laughs> we'll try it again. That's a nice paint scheme. Neat looking. It is. It was great talking to you. I will, we'll remember you. Only happened right twice, that was it? Uh, go... Yeah, go one more time. Exit. No, let's go one more time because I thought it was going to go three times, but apparently not. So yeah, same, same. Just, just try to go into a one circle if possible. But the biggest thing is to keep an eye on on the target. That's the number one. That's number one job.
you're in dogfight mode. Where's the where's the bandit? Where's he at? Uh, okay, Frank, pause it. Pause it. Uh, can you tell me how far the bandit is right now? Tell me how far he is. Uh, he's approximately three miles out. Uh, exactly. How far is he? Yeah, no, I usually look at the um, the the um, the FCR. So if you look at you the HUD, if you look at the HUD, two point nine, you, you see. You see uh, your altimeter, your your feet, they're up high above the ground on the right side, and you go down, you see an empty box, and then you see that TA with 19, keep going down, you see the F, 2.9, that is your distance. Roger. So that is a quick, easy way to see your distance. So when uh when like one is leading and he asks for you how far is the bandit, you can just look right there. It'd be like 2.9 miles or 3.5 miles or whatever. And it also has it on your, your head mounted display too. So if you look away, look to the right. Oh there it is. Yeah, it has it on your on your display. It's look outside. Yeah, see the two point nine F0029? So that tells you your distance as well. And uh do you know what that ten eighty is right there? On your HUD? Or where your dynamic launch zone would be? Do you know what that ten eighty means? Um, I don't, I don't see it. It's uh on the same. It's on the right side, near your altimeter. Has 1080 with a carrot. Oh, I see it. Yeah. D do you know what that number means? Uh, no. So that is your closure. <laughs> so, uh, for a a average, the bandit's going 540 and you're going 540. So that equals 1080. So. Copy. Yeah. So that's the closure rate. So you're going super fast. So that's the closure rate view, and if it was. If the bandit was going away from you, of course it would go slower. And if the bandit was uh, was getting away from you, it would be negative. So it would be like negative 100. That means the bandit is getting away from you, or your target doesn't have to be a bandit, but your target that you're locked onto is is uh, going faster than you by 100 knots. So that's what that little that means right there. Um. Yeah. So go ahead and go ahead and continue. Press play or unpause. All right, don't don't pull so much G's while you're going downwards, so you can pull a little bit more because you got gravity. Ready, go. All right, now keep your eye on him. Do not move your head. Keep your keep your eye on him. So now change change your aspect. Change direction. Because he's, yeah, he's locking on to you, so kind of change a little bit. And you're going to have to go back and forth with trying to find him. So it's, it's going to be hard. Gotcha. Um, can, you, can you zoom out of your, your, uh, your view? Does your little scroll wheel work to zoom out? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, yeah, do that a little bit. It's like you're looking through a straw. All right, uh, go ahead and try it and zoom out so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, right there, perfect. So if you're looking forward, you can kind of still see your your, uh, your MFDs and you're not just looking at your HUD only. So how far is the bandit, Frank? I don't really see it. Um, no, it's probably uh, nine the, miles out. Yeah. Probably because you're using the laptop, so yeah, it depends yeah, I mean, on your setup. I don't have one of those, setup. those big triple monitor setups. Yeah, it depends so on your setup. On... Oh, see, that so happens to me on, often. On VR sooner or later. Ah. Uh. So yeah, we're gonna do one more engagement, and then we'll go to uh, we'll do Rody next. So go ahead and get your single player ready, Rody, and we'll uh, go to you next. Copy that. Yep, keep your eye, keep your eye, and look at your speed, look back and forth between your speed, because you can see on the head-mounted display. So yeah, just keep it on there, so 
now there's really no no one's has a advantage here unless they could snipe you going head on. You're going super slow. Get get tally. All right, now change the direction. Look behind you. Don't don't always stay in one one direction. And it's it's easier to see see them when they're above you because it's easier to see a a dot against the sky rather than the ground. Except for it's when it's cloudy, it's easy to see in both directions. So keep changing directions because you don't know where he is. Keep keep randomly changing directions. Because you're, you're changing directions and looking at the same time. Right, he's not on the RWR. Somewhere. Front, behind, to the right. Dude, go. Jesus. Oh, there he is. Closing up behind you. Ooh, just turned into him. Yeah, you put him in a... Gave him some weird directional problems. Ooh. I All clipped right, you. Where, where'd it go? Oh! Green stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and press escape and uh, exit. Now we're going to go to, to Rody. Okay. Just end my, my stream. Stream. All right. So, yeah, choose as aggressors. Okay. We, uh, uh, yeah, um, down like. Six down to F16C block 32. Going down. Up, you just passed it. Up. Oh, 32. The, the uh, no, block the 32 aggressors. It's the, it's the longest one. Uh, go to skill ace and then press OK. Yep, that's good. And then change your aircraft to uh, right click on it, change it to a block 40. It's it's in the F sixteen family. So just hover your mouse over F sixteen family and it should pop up. Right there. Yep. And then the yeah, block forty. Uh go ahead and place the the little green circle over Japan. Yep, that'll work. Range uh twenty miles, give it a little bit more space. Uh altitude twenty thousand. That'll work. And then press uh, press takeoff. Okay. And when you get in, I want you to press shift P to freeze it and then turn on your Acme. Okay. Yeah. Did you click it? There it is. Oh, I got to switch screens. Oh. All right, so shift P. You do shift P. All right, what screen are you seeing? I see your cockpit. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Freeze. You remember that switch we uh did? Hold on. Yeah, whenever you get situated. I think I think it's a vent mark. I'm about ninety percent sure it's a vent mark because they have it backwards. 
But yeah, go ahead and set up everything. And then, uh, right. yeah, press P and it should unfreeze it. Uh, let me get my FTP. Okay. There you go. Ready, set, go. Oh, shit. Oh, so press P again. Yep, should be good. All right. All you. See him on the FCR yet? Not, uh, not yet. Uh, there, there he is. is. There. So, so what was your what was your reasoning to offset a little bit? Uh, gain some altitude and change the uh, vector on them. I guess. It it depends. If you have missiles, then that would be a good BVR tactic. But dogfighting, you're you're already you're already committed. Ooh, interesting. Let's see how this goes. So instead of going up, tur turn horizontally because you don't need to lose any more speed or down. You need to gain some speed. Where all that speed went? It's gone. All right. Ah, oh, he got me. Oh. A little bit more aggressive with the... Well, aggressive with um, turning towards the bandit and yep. uh, maybe not losing too much speed. Should respawn you. So on this one, Rody, keep flying straight and merge with the bandit. So yeah. when he passes you, then do a one circle or two circle turn while looking back at him. See how it turns out. Yep, copy that. So go ahead and press uh, X and then uh, take off and make sure you turn on your your uh, Acme. And w once you die and eject, it should respawn you again. So there's no reason to get out every time. Oh, go back to recording. Add the full on there. Press the the record. You have to get. You have to go into freeze. Okay, cool. Now press the record. The uh, on the Acme. All right. So it says record. So they fixed it. Okay, cool. Because the recording at the top tells you that you're constantly recording. So go ahead and uh, hey. continue. Yeah, let's go head on. Uh, head on aspect with the bandit. And if you want to gain altitude, you can. If you want to do whatever. But the biggest thing is to keep an eye on them. Because if you turn off like 45 degrees to the, to the left, then you'd lost sight of the bandit. So when the bandit passes you, look back at him and then decide whether you want to turn left or right, but keep your eyes on him. Yeah. Wait till he passes you. Wait till he passes you. Now turn. Oh, don't roll. Oh. Turn. Yep. Turn. Like you gotta put yourself ah. on a Yeah. The horizon's behind you, so turn. Now you wanna face your jet toward him, but kind of turn to the left. Not sure what direction you are. Okay, there we go. So so now he's super high and you're going super slow, so there's no reason to go and chase him. So you can kind of, 
you're at 70 degrees nose up. Yeah, uh, bring your nose nose down, gain some speed, and uh, he's, he's already stalled. Yeah, so just keep your eye on him. Whatever you do, don't lose. So he might pass in front of you. So take advantage of this. Find him. Oh, he got you already. So in this case, it would be good, like a pure luck, that he if he missed you, and then you still had time to to fight. Go ahead and press. Uh, go ahead and eject. Did you eject or did you press escape? Escape. Oh, I wanted you eject. Uh, I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay, what happened to it? It it took me out completely. Oh, it probably crashed, because if you go in and out of 3D too many times, it'll crash sometimes. Uh, in the meantime, go ahead and get everything ready again, Rhodey. Um, let's go to, go to Gears. Uh, Prime. Yo. Do you want to give Rhodey some practice in a uh, actual 1v1? Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that. I'll be, I'll be next after I, this. I can host. Okay, and I yeah. can screen share yeah, with Rhodey. And I won't fire. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Two birds, one stone. Uh, back. Let's see. What am I doing? Yeah, let's go ahead and do. create your... Create your server. I'll take mine down. We'll use it later on. Okay. Ready? Can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay. I just want to make so, sure. So, uh, go ahead and get your stream set up, uh, Rogue, and uh, Rody. Go ahead and log into his to his uh, server. But in the meantime, we'll have Gears do her uh, one one v one with the AI. Copy that. Alrighty. Okay, right now I'm pitching down a little bit because I want to pick up some speed. I want to get right into that uh, 430, 330 spot. So I'm just going to try to keep my speed up. I'm looking in. And here we're going to merge right about... Oops, I'm getting a little fast. Right about here. And I'm going to go really hard, bleed some speed. Now I'm going to come unload a little bit. I know he's I'm no joy right now. Where'd he go? I know he's around here somewhere. I have him on the radar warning receiver. I'm still I'm going to put I'm losing a little speed, so I'm going to add the burner. Uh, okay, so now I'm getting in a better spot. Look back up. He is. Little dot. What? Where? Oh, he was just there. Right there. there. Where? To you your, see him, but I don't. Like your, over your seven over o'clock. Your, look over your left shoulder. Right there. Right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so I'm a little fast right now, so I'm going to pull hard, cash in my chips, and okay. There, I got him. Okay, so uh, now he's pointed at me. I'm pointed at him. I'm going to continue around because I think I can out-radiate him a little bit. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Pretty fast. I, I, I mean, so now I got him again. Yep. Nice uh, advantage. So bad. now I'm going to – now I have a really good rate – now I'm coming radius again. Radius, 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 radius. Because he keeps getting fast, so I can get him slow. Um, but I'm not really in a great spot because I can't really. If I pull lead, I cancel. All, I end up cashing all my chips. Yeah. So I I don't want to. I'm I'm in a good spot in the sense that I just have to be patient. But it's going to take me a minute to reel him in. Yep. And with a That's human, okay. they would have. Reverse their turn by now, but you're 5,000 feet away. The F040, it turns in the feet after mm -hmm. it's at. So now would be a good time to reverse for the, the bandit in this case. <coughs> yeah, but it's the computer, so yeah, he's so stupid. Yeah, the computer, yep. Um, yeah, I can kill the AI pretty good, but yep. uh, 
It's the people that give me a hard time. Oh, yeah. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, in front, and kind of like put the bullets. Now I'm stalled. There we go. Boom. Okay, that's yep. the end of that one. Sweet. One for me. Yay! One, one. For Team Sarah. So it's going to res res respawn and go ahead and do it again. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to do Alt. Uh, FF and click. Uh. All right, let's play. All right, we're gonna go really, really fast again. Sweet. Well, not too fast, well, but we should be like, you know, yeah, exactly. So look at my closure rate is like, it's gonna be big, but it's not gonna be too high. We're sort of like in a race to stick each other's nose in the nose. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna break right. Whoa. What was that? Whoa, See, I, I that twitched. was like him Literally being a twitched. jerk. Yeah, pretty jerk okay. move. See, like that was really like a low PK hit shot. Like he was not likely to hit me, but it was a little freaky. It was. Where'd he go? I, I'm no joy. On your Hold six. On. Is he? Uh, oh, Jesus! Oh, jeez. What aspect. an asshole! Change aspect, did he get you? Yeah, he totally hosed oh. me. I think I have invulnerability on. Oh, that's fair. Oh, I still that's... have invulnerability on! <laughs> that's fair. Well, you're, you well, would okay, have so... been dead. That's for sure. I would have been to totally dead. Let's see if that we can sucked. change from defensive to offensive. Yeah, well, okay. Let's see you here. Yeah, I didn't even... I, once I lost sight, I kind of... That was bad. Okay. You have Tally now? Yeah, well, I did. He's around here somewhere. The, I need to fix this head tracker. Oh. oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. So. <sighs> this is actually a really bad time to try to outrate this dude. Good. What you but could do is, it's... so in this case, it's a good time to use rudder. You could pull in right rudder, or left rudder, and kind of... Left rudder, put left my nose rudder on him. and kind of get your nose, kind of cut the cut the corner a little bit. As long as you yeah, have I see a little bit saying. of speed, it, it usually helps to kind of get an altitude, because at 3,000 feet, probably not a good idea to nose down. But uh, if you have the speed and altitude, you could kind of left or rudder into the turn and kind of put a little bit of uh -huh. roll into the turn. Yeah. I could cut, okay. some, cut some corners. I see what you're saying. And that's 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 gotten me around, so Okay, and so now I'm starting to pick up a little speed too, which is nice. Yep. Uh Got that so, lag, lag pursuit. Yeah, so I'm totally lagged, that's good, that's really nice. Yeah, you're pulling five keys and not losing any speed, so that's really good. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here and just kinda reel him in. Um I'm getting a little fast now, but I think I can hit him. I mean, I can pull lead and just go, uh, Ooh, come on. There. Oh, so close. He, come on, quit jinking on me. Oh, he's jinking. Yeah, they, they put jinking in here. He definitely jinks when you're like a thousand feet or so. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you're totally in control. He's. Yeah, that's once again, I just have to be patient. Yeah, I have to reel him in. Okay. Ooh. Oh, See, like that? That was yeah. another one. That was perfect. So this is what it looks like when you when you change the direction. It's frustrating. Oops. Damn it. Oh, ass. Motherfucker. Jesus. Playing with you. It's like, come on. And then see how he's slowing down? So if there was a human, you would slowly bring back your, your throttle. And Which I'm doing. The uh, person behind you would fly in front of you. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to kill this fucker. Well, or I'm going to run out of juice. One of the two. Ooh. There we there. go. Nice. All right. Very okay. good. Very good. Two for two. Uh, Rogley and. Brody, are you just about ready to start streaming? I'm uh, waiting on Rody to actually hop in. Okay. 
Okay. He's already got my IP. Cool. Yeah, I'm already in. Uh, we're going into what? Uh, dog fight? Yep. Yeah, it'll be after this round, we'll go ahead and switch to you both. Okay. So try uh, tr try to go into, tr get a lot of speed and try to go into the vertical, see, see how that Oh, you want to do works. a vertical fight? Yeah, S see what. Okay, let's. Go off of that one. All right. We'll just go way fast. So, we'll okay, in, this is way too vertical. fast in my opinion. That's why you go into the vertical, lose all the speed, and then you're above more energy, well, potential energy. All right, where'd he go? Uh -oh. Once again, no joy. Uh, where'd I go? I'm above him somewhere. Yeah, it's hard to see against the water. You gotta really keep keep an eye if you want to go up. There he is. Pops out of nowhere. Yeah, see, the thing I don't like about being high is that, like, you're really getting outside of the best play performance sort of yeah. envelope for a Viper. So in here, put, that, really... put that left rudder and a little bit of roll. Uh-huh. Kind of get your... Okay, so... Nose a little bit in front, kind of cut the corner. Okay, I'm doing like full left right now. Yeah. See how it kind of brings you around? See that? Yeah, it's just kind of spinning it. Oh, nice. That's so put trick. you in a pretty good, pretty good position. Reverse, pull up. There's no reason to chase. Uh, where'd he go? Kind of chill down here. I would probably be picking up speed and chilling down here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Wow, I'm at. It's amazing how high and how low we went, right? I like know, we yeah. got. I mean, we were up at what twenty something thousand, and now we're at three. Yep. But now I'm way too fast. I think he's a little bit, yeah, about where the, on your six, probably like five o'clock. There he is. There he is. Okay. And uh, sometimes I practice with a, a block 30 or a block 50, that, that uh, well, a block 30 that doesn't have the, the heads up or the head mounted display. So you don't know your speed all the time. Or you could just turn off your head mount to display and practice a little bit. But it's always interesting to have to keep looking at your HUD and going back to the to the bandit. Adds an increased difficulty. That's another thing where usually pilots fly by the seat of their pants. They don't even know their speed. They can just feel the buffeting and the, the wind rushing over the canopy. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Until I started flying myself, I didn't understand how much was done by feel. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, so this guy is really right there. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not going to... Whoa! Oh, hit it. <laughs> Invulnerability! <laughs> Maneuver kill from yeah. the AI. Yeah, rocks kill, yeah. All right, if you can get into a offensive position... Okay, let's try again. This sucks. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting too slow. I'm just now I'm just being stupid. Okay, so now I'm okay, he's around here somewhere. Disappeared probably Is that transitioning him? behind you. Yeah. He's on your six. Hey, I'm way too fast. So that's there okay. He there he is. Now I'm gonna just keep now keep following around. He's back there. You're coming low. Coming low. Yeah. There he is. Okay, so now I'm going into lag, and maybe I can pull it around. Oh, reversed Whoop! mistake. Yeah, that AI was a reverse. big error. Yeah. yeah, that was a big error. Should have kept going. 
I don't know if he was run, worried about running into the ground or something, but I mean, that's the problem when you do these things. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and lag. All right, keep my speed under control. Uh, he's getting a little high. Okay, so I'll just follow him around. Oh. Trying to hit the brakes. Oh, nice. It won't work. Never mm. works. I'll hit the brakes and I'll fly right by. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Get him. Very nice. Sweet. Very In the good. stall. Very nice. So yes, remember to Thank you very much. keep an eye on the bandit. It's harder. And don't to run into the ground. Like, yeah, the ground's not. It always wins. Yeah. Always wins. All right. So. Rock kill. Rogley and uh, Rody, go ahead and start streaming. All righty. Don't forget to change your uh, aircraft. Why didn't it? Let me just make sure. Oh, there it goes. Uh, three for three. Perfect. Okay. Although, I, technically speaking, I did cheat with the... with the... <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. I, I did. The block 30? Block 40. Okay. Uh, end stream. Okay. Let me see if I recorded that now. I want to make sure I got the tapes. It's fun. I want you all to tell me how bad I am. <laughs> Go ahead and start uh, streaming, Rody. Oh, okay, hold on. Share screen. Did I get it? Uh, it says I'm the fulcrum. Fulcrum? Yeah, you see my eyes wonky. Cool. Alright. Alright. Looks good. Oh. Ready? Yep. We're ready. Both ready. Alright, so, Prime. Yep. You are my master arm. Cool, cool. Oh, that stinks. Letting you fly? You letting you go? It's not letting me go. I think um, the host is be in first. Okay, I'm in the loading screen right now. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I'm in. Okay. Yay. All right. And you can watch both at the same time. You just hover over and there should be a little eyeball. You can watch both for those watching the stream. All right. I'm on roadies. All right. So try to go to a, a one circle fight. So coordinate one circle fight. Far away, oh, 11. Let's see. All right, coming into the merge. He 
had him had him roadie. It's to your six and low. Yeah, I think the padlock might be help hurting you more than anything. Because I see when you turn, and I know you mm -hmm. don't want to turn that way. Mm -mm. Whoa. Right. That's kind of flip back around, get good visual on the, the bandit. It really helps to have a well-adjusted head tracker. Yeah. So look, but the uh, look behind you. You saw him. I think the optimal corner speed's like three fifty or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. So, so keep an eye, keep an eye. Get get your speed up a little bit. Well, actually now you're going down, so get your speed down to get behind him. Ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Keep visual. Let's see where's he at? Yeah, he's literally a hundred feet behind you. Now to your above you. All right, uh, go ahead and reset. Go back to like. 9,000 feet, kind of reset a little bit, extend. Extending. Yeah. So, so Rody kind of like go in, go in a direction, so straighten out. And then get some speed and kind of extend, and then you can turn back around. Once you get some speed, speed and extend, so kind of climb up a little bit too. Because <clears throat> just going in circles like that doesn't get too much training in. I was actually trying to overshoot. Ah. Uh, All right, go ahead and turn back. That's much better. Okay. All right, so, uh, Rody, your job is to stay behind uh, Rogley. You have a visual on him yet? Look, look at your FCR. Should should have saw him somewhere. It's probably yeah, to your, to your right. Now I think I'm all turned around. Will he's at fifteen thousand feet? Uh, look at your RWR. Straight down. He's out. not there. Uh, level out. Might be facing away from you. Yeah, Rogley, if you could face toward him so he could see on RWR. If you know where he is. I'm only following the RWR right now. Okay. I try to find each other. Oh, he's he's up. You see him, Brody? Directly 12 o'clock up. A little bit 11 o'clock. There's a little speck. Yep. All right, so I want you to stay behind Rogley no matter what. Gotcha. So, Rogley, you can go ahead and do maneuvers. Do a offensive practice here with with Rody. So go ahead and start turning with him. Go ahead and start turning, Rody. You're you're in a lag pursuit now, so kind of this you're just chilling right here. Uh, yeah. Make sure you don't uh, go ahead and lock him up so you know you're not going faster than him. Uh, you know to go to dogfight mode. Yep. Go ahead and lock him. So you can kind of see how fast you're going. So he's coming towards you. So there he there he goes. So pull. Not too hard. Are you in burner? No. You burner. You need maximum power. So you've lost like 300 knots in two seconds. You're going to stall. Yeah, and they're not using missiles, so you, they won't get you with a heat suit. Yeah. You want to stay like 430 to 330? Like maybe maybe 450 to 330? Depending on who you talk to. So here, so continue lag because you have, you have no shot. So just continue lag. And then continue lag, continue lag. And then you see you're picking up speed. Yeah. That's good. Oh, uh, you're pulling too hard. Um, 
make sure you're you're in burner for like literally ninety percent of the engagement. Unless yep. you feel like you're you're getting slower or uh gaining. Okay. So you see that negative fifty, negative forty? That's your your ex he's actually getting away from you. So now it's at zero, now it's at ten, your uh closing rate. So you're actually good here. Okay. One mile away, so you could turn a little you could pull a little oh, harder. Hard, hard. Pull like eight G's or something in burner. See how you're barely losing any speed and you're pulling set six and a half G's or so? Right. You're getting it really fast now. Yep, so pull back on the on the uh throttle. Either pull back on the throttle or pull more, because you want to get your nose on them. Pull both. Or both. So kind of get your nose and you see that horizontal bar, get get the symbology on them. And shoot in front of them, yeah. and then ease up on the stick, just a little bit. You yeah. got it. You got it. So right there, yeah. General ballpark. Oh, he's so he start, on you. Start moving. So he's gonna he's start doing maneuvers. He's... Yeah. You go. The yeah, optimal turn rate's at uh, three fifty, and you're at five fifty. Yeah, but the other person, no if way. you're at three fifty, the other person at five fifty does you no good. So you need to match the person in front of you. Yeah, you're, you just be patient. You're gonna reel him in soon. Yep. Be careful not to overshoot. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got you. Yeah, that padlock. It. it I can see it messing you up a little bit. Okay, this is you're losing speed, so you can go what two circles, so nose to nose. And you can try to cut across the circle that way. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh yeah. So yeah, just uh pull, 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 make sure you pull, make pull, that pull. watch the ground. Uh Whoa. All right, you see him? Go into lag. Oh, that's the ground. <laughs> uh, okay, you're good. You're good. So you're gonna in a comfortable position here. It's kind of chill right here. You're right behind him. Uh, you can, now you you're, can ease off the throttle. Yeah, kind of lead lead him so you can bleed off that speed and get into shooting position. All right, here comes the crosshair coming in. Yeah, literally. There you go. There you Somewhere go. in there, yeah, something like that. So I yeah, think that right one there. hit. Yeah. Oh, that hit. hit. Okay. Yeah, very nice. All right, see if you can do that one more time, and then uh, we'll uh, probably eject and then reset where Rogley's on you, so you'll be defensive. Okay. See if you can hit him real quick and then go ahead and eject from your jet so you can respawn and get more oh. fuel because I'm pretty sure you're low on fuel. So, so it's, it's probably like start. half a jet in front of them, well, depending on how far you are. Yeah, not, not that far. So the closer you get, the less lead you need to give them. Yep. Right there. That was some good hits. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, there I go. Nice. There you go. So he died, so go ahead and just wait. It'll respawn everybody. And then I want uh, uh, Rody just to stay straight or a, a small turn to get Rogley behind you and then try to change positions into offensive. Okay. Remember, keep keep your eye eye on them. I need to set up a server, don't I? Uh, gears. Yes, sir. Need to port forward, and as long as that's all good, you just need to make sure you run the IBC server before you actually host or 
uh, IVC won't work. Yeah. Okay, so I, I start IVC server. After you've port forwarded. Yeah, did you go in your settings for your router and port forward some stuff? No. Yeah, it's a <laughs> little bit of an ordeal. I'm not sure I know how to do that on this kind and of... And the merge. Like, so go, go ahead and just go to a light turn, Rody. It's a light turn so we can get behind you. Like 4Gs or something. Oh, and I've already lost him. And just kind of stay here so he can get behind you and then we'll call fights on. Let's see where's he at. He's still at uh, 17,000 feet. Oh, is he? Yeah. Access the router configuration go. console and click click settings on the left. Uh, no one's coming up on RWR. Oh, oh hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, so, Brody, he's right behind you. See if you can get visual real quick. All right, you see him? Okay, now try to go offensive or get to the offensive position. So go ahead and... Uh, change positions and stuff and change directions once he gets on you. So right now he's lagged, so it's not too much of a threat. So just kind of keep your speed. And there he goes, trying to kind of get into leads. Pure. And I went back to lag. So you might have been close enough for a reverse, but you might have been too far. Because now you lost him. See, so it just depends on on the situation. So get get visual again. Navigate to there. Look behind you. Roddy, ground. Yep, recover. Ah, my track are fuck. All right, uh, stay behind him, uh, Rogley. Get back okay. up to like ten thousand, and then try it again. So it's a nice, easy climb to ten thousand or so. Uh, my trick arm I just messed up the cable. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, Giz, you did an excellent job on, uh, Explain your speed and uh, when you're doing that. I'm sorry, what? Uh, she did an excellent job of, uh, you know, and you helped me out also, fine. Yeah. When uh, she was telling, uh, you know, controlling her speed, and you was telling me to slow down or, or speed up. Yeah. Alright, so I'm, I'm offsetting to the left or to the right, whichever one. So I could keep visual as he passes by. If I was too too high, then I would go underneath my jet. Um, so I'm just gonna keep a, a nice visual passing on the left or the right. And uh, so by default, people turn to the left, which is really weird. Let's see which way he turns. I'm gonna turn to the right. <laughs> so this is a one circle fight. Shit, I lost you already. You lost me already? See how already. See, I haven't even moved off, so I'm still on him lock. as a lock. But now he sees me on, on the RWR. And now he's high aspect. I'm going fast. I'm going to go up a little bit. Bleed off some of that speed. Go back into burner. Come back down. Lock. Then we're just going to pass here. Gain some speed. Go back. Uh, level. Altitude. Altitude. He's coming back down. And now I'm gonna change directions, going this way. Still keeping an eye on him. <laughs> I may be slow, but I can get my nose around. Block. Where's 
Where are you? Altitude. Altitude. <laughs> Behind you. Ah, uh, I see you. Block. Click. <laughs> Port forwarding. Okay. Click slide the button to on. Um, you, did, you did the same thing that we did the other night. And I'm overshooting a little bit, so I slow down. <laughs> keep behind him. That was a little high. Back in the burner, so you can kind of see what power modes. So, uh, me personally, I need to get better at if they switch and he goes across my canopy, I could shoot him down. But I'm not quite that good yet. I did break pretty hard on that one. Yeah. Oh, he switched wrist right then. That was good. Yep, he switches. See, it puts me out of out of the loop. But if I'm trying to get behind him. I'm going back over here. Gonna get behind him again and he switches. So it's like it's just back and forth, to and fro, and he switched again. See, look at that. See, now he's uh, 2,500 feet away from me, so it's good to switch it in this case. One of these times I gotta just snip it. Oh, I almost had it there. It's really hard to get it right. Oh, he just barely missed that one. <laughs> so this is a giant dance of back and forth. It's hard to see him through the... when he gets on the ground. Ooh. Basically disappears when he turns off his uh, afterburner. See, see those those lines are the symbols for G's. They spread apart the more G's you pull. Right here, he's slowing down. So I'm gonna slow down too. That's good defensive. See how how effective uh, switching turns is close range. Almost overshot there, but I still got him. Oh! Wow! Right when I get the crosshair on him, it's insane. <laughs> so you could you could go on for literally for if both people are good, like you can go on forever. Get him here. Pull up. Pull up. Pull Jesus. up. Jesus. Pull up. Okay, I think I have port forwarding on. Right when I start shooting. So he's switching up every now and then, so I gotta make my lineup quicker. And that makes you sloppy, so it's like back and forth. Jesus. Oh! 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 You got me. You. Clipped you oh, a little I'm bit. St still going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so at least it would have ended right there. I'd get him on a straightaway. And then after this, I'll I'll go into the defensive. You can kind of get me. Okay. Pulling a 5G, so that's like in the middle of that little symbology thing. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. It's always good just to stay behind someone. And uh, get your sights 
up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, good. So I'll reset up here and then I'll be on the defensive side. Cool. That's hard when they keep switching. It's like, stop it. <laughs> and right Good when you start lining up, it's me. like, nope, other direction. With me, it's hard, to, I, it's hard for me to find a guy if, if he's on my six. Yeah. And usually the theaters have clouds, so if he was below me, it would be easy to see because of the clouds. And if he was above me, it would be kind of easy to see. But since we were below the clouds, it was it went behind the terrain, and it was hard to see him. Alright, here we go. Seven miles. Seven miles. Hey, Prompt, after this, uh, remind me about clouds. Okay. So, uh, what's, what's, how many circles is this? What is this? This is two circle. Sure is. So I'm a do lag and get you behind me so I can go defensive. I screwed up with this damn throttle. I forgot to go on burner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm slow as shit. Yeah, I'll just go slow for now in this little orbit. Come on, come on. Alright. You see me? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna keep tally. I'm gonna keep tallying you. I gotta extend out just a little bit, pick up some speed. Okay. I still got you. Come on, three hundred. Come on, three thirty. All right, good. All right, coming in. Still see me? Yep. All right, I'm turning back towards you a little bit. Go ahead and get on my six. All right, I got you. All right, cool. Once you straighten out, I'll say fights on. And for for a little bit, uh, don't shoot. I want to try to see if I can get away. And, okay. uh, and I'll tell you to, to start shooting so I can try to jink and stuff. All right, fight's on. So I'm turning in different directions and also losing speed. So now, being that I lost all that speed, now he's in front of me. Almost. Just about. Now I'm going to use a little bit of rudder, getting super low, super slow. Right, rudder's coming in. Altitude. Gaining speed a little bit. Altitude. Good on altitude. Now we're sending downward scissors. Keeps going, keeps going. Still using that rudder. So now we're just even. So now someone has to do something, so I'm going to extend out over here. I'm going to put my G's at zero so I can gain some speed as well. And I'm going to continue my turn. Trying to keep my speed up a little bit. They're pretty low. Bring up behind. He's high aspect, so he's going to pass right by me. Can't get a shot off. Needs to gain some speed again. He reversed. I'm going to continue since I'm already turning this way. 
Block. I aspect get out of the way of his gun. Continue the turn. Block. Get some speed, high aspect, no shot. Trying to see if I can gain some speed this low. I aspect again, so he's turning uh, quicker than me, because I could barely get shot off. Yeah. But now, I'm going to gain some speed a little bit. See if he can get right behind me again, and I'll see if I can reset this a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so guns are a go. Go ahead and do guns whenever the little shot's good. Got gotcha. you. Is there a way to test my uh, ports for server? Or well, the only way I know of is to... You can go online and do it, but the good thing to do is to test warning, someone else. Warning! 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 Okay. Anyone want to test me? So I can get a high... Oh, he got me on the high aspect. Very nice. Alright. So we'll restart again and go one more time, and then we'll have uh, two other people go against each other. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, yeah, Rody and I did a little bit of this last night because I had to test. Uh, I had to rebind everything to four point three four. Okay. He kicked my ass pretty good, but it's, it's nice and knocks some rust off. Nice. <laughs> All right, I got the the sound bug. No sound in dogfight. <laughs> All right, so this time it'll be very little. Uh, commentary. I'm, we're just going to try to kill each other. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> and, and if you, uh, all those watching, if you notice something, uh, want to say something on the fly, just go ahead and go ahead and say it. Feel free. We'll be going around in circles. Why'd you pull your uh, visor up? Oh, because I have it automatically up. It's default up. In this case, I get in at night and I can't see anything. Oh, okay. That was a huge difference. I noticed. I was like, oh. Well, that's exciting. Here, send me your IP address. Uh, okay, let me see what my IP address is. Oh man, oh, that was man. that was good. I knew I screwed up. Snipe. Nice. I was like, oh. Yeah, that was good. You still fly? Uh somewhat. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, we'll... here we'll keep Yeah, here, let's do it. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, we'll finish oh, it. No. If there's black smoke doesn't mean he's going down. Uh, uh no. like the MFDs or something out or something. Engine is Engine's dead. Oh. Yep, ejecting. Ejecting. Cool. Yeah, it's white smoke. You have to keep shooting them. All right, so uh, go ahead and get out. I'll lift you not already, because if I get out before you do, it messes up the BMS. Gotcha. That was pretty good. All right, you you out? Uh, it's closing out right. Okay, there it is. Yep, I'm out. All right, uh, escape and in mission. So if uh, Rogley... And gears. One v one. Go ahead and do it on your uh, your server, Rogley. Yep, cool. it's up. Okay. Gears oh, are still working on your. 
Yeah, I'm going I'm to check to it out right now. Oh, well, could we put the pause button on that one and let's just go? Yeah, we uh, could do... Uh, so, uh, Gears are still working on your port forwarding stuff? Um, let's just... I'm going to not worry about that and let's just do with uh, Rogue if we can. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Just in say for the sake of expediency. What is his a server though? Anything? Sending it to you on Discord now. Thank you. Who else wants it? I think I have it. I, I have think. it. I have it. Gears, you sent me your uh, IP on what? On my own private or um, yeah, it should public. be in your private. It should be in your okay. private. Gotcha. And then next it, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh Frank and uh Rody. Don't try okay. to connect to me right now. No. <laughs> I don't know what would ha happen. Uh, yeah, whenever we do Gears and Rogue, we'll do Frank and Rody. And then Rogue Rogue you can just be like in the server. Yep. And just fly around. So you don't have to be in the area. Okay. So am I up next? You're next after this this round. Okay. I will do that. Okay. Connect. Let's see what happens. Oh, someone just disconnected. Frank. Failed to connect to server. To Rogleys? Catch your room. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll. Let me see what happens if I remove the port forwarding for now. Uh, port forwarding should not affect your uh, ability to connect. Yeah. Uh, I believe you, but uh, let's just see what happens. Well, let's see. Sixty-eight dot. Oh, I put the num the the address in wrong. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was it. Uh, let's see. Nine or seven. So is this going to be a a full live fire? Yes. Yep. And what else? Full live fire. Actually, let me close this. For and now. and if you would like to, uh. Talk what you're doing the first couple of rounds. That's that's completely fine. If you don't, then that's that's fine with me too. Okay. There's that. Oh, where'd Frank go? I don't know. Huh. Might have might have had a temporary crash. Yeah. Okay, so comms. Let's try that again. Oh, I got so dogfight online Ruby's game just... commit sure <laughs> stream sniping too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, there's Frank. Yeah, so, sorry, I thought I didn't realize it was uh, just up. Okay. Got one more round. So, yeah, it's uh, Gears uh, and Rogley now, and then it'll be Frank and Rody. Roger. So, let's see, I want to be an F16 Block 40 because. Ooh, I don't want to be a mean old aggressor. Ready? Be, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. 
I am committing. Okay. I have committed a crime. Yeah. Are you red or am I? You're red. Oh, okay. I don't know. Ooh. So, just to reiterate, this is full live, yes? Yes. Yes. Try to kill each other. Seems like your stream is still loading up gears. Six. Don't worry about it, you're... You're busy. I'll just watch rogues. Uh, if someone could have the what? Acme. I have oh. it. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks to old Craig, I've just recorded everything. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ground's coming up fast. <laughs> oh, this thing handles. Oh, wow. That's a. Uh... Oh. That's a stall. Yeah, yeah. But it handles different clean. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a different. Oh, wow. It's a different aircraft. Yes, it is. Hello. Oh no. Uh oh. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Make sure that's closed. And... Oh, there we go. Other stream is up. But like, hello. Oh, poop. Move. Somebody. <laughs> Rocks hit somebody. Did I just... <laughs> poop. Somebody just hit the ground. That right. was a rocks kill. <laughs> that was a maneuver kill. Yeah, well, that's that shouldn't happen if I'm smart. So, okay. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, three. Generally speaking, diving like that is not a wise decision. <laughs> Generally. <laughs> we. But it is all dynamic and anything can happen and nothing's black and white, so who knows what'll happen. But the more crayons in your crayon box you have, the better, I guess. Yeah, because I write all of my stuff in crayon. <laughs> what is this, the Marines? Yes, <laughs> Marines fly. Yeah, and they write it, they eat crayons they too. Do. So, I don't know so, how so that they, works. So they have yeah. a snack as well, so I mean I guess it's uh. So, so really? just for, okay. Just what for, I'm gonna do is oh. I'm gonna go up here and just enjoy your. Uh... I'm not gonna play that game. It's not happening. Mm, nine G's, uh, yummy. The most I've pulled is six and a half, and it feels like death. <laughs> like in a T thirty eight, pull we pulled six and a half. I feel like I just died. Wow. 
Are you uh, going never... pilot training? No, I was in uh when at uh Georgia. We had an incentive flight for T thirty eight and he let me uh they let me fly in the back seat. We pulled like six G's and I felt like I was like dead. It was only for like maybe maybe ten seconds, like it was insane. I can only imagine what nine feels like. Oh, you got me. Nice oh. one. Were you, were you wearing a G suit? Uh T thirty eight, yeah. That was a G suit. Gotcha. Are you dead dead? No, I just got hit. And there it is. Because I, I reversed on him when I, by accident. Now I'm hit. Oh, come on. Really? You sh I should be dead by now. Really? Right, well, they hit come him on, with two dude. bullets. Two bullets hit you so far. Yeah, I would just back off and get out of the way so that he, he can crash and make sure he doesn't hit you while he's dying. Oh, now I'm on fire. That's there great. it is. <laughs> Yeah, because once he's once he's got black smoke, he's dead. He's 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 a goner. He's a dead man walking. Well, more or less, because sometimes AIs you you say they're dead, and you get in front of them, they shoot. Oh up. yeah, and <laughs> I, 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 IR missile at you, and you're dead. Yeah, I've done that. So you, you gotta, could just do an Emel, man. I mean, go vertical. You, you could, but he'll just go vertical and shoot you. Like, no, not with a dying engine. He could still pull up if he has enough speed. Well, in theory. Yeah. I'll, I'll just not be in front. Like, turn off in the opposite direction. <laughs> if you're going to leave him alone. Blinky blink. That is a nice paint scheme, huh? It is nice. Ah, 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 no. No. You go away. Cat, sorry. All right, so uh, for uh, added challenge, I want you to turn off your head-mounted display, both of you. Uh, so you can just hold DMS down; it should disappear. Oh, DMS! Sorry. Yep. So turn that off well, and uh, have fun. Well, thanks. I, I appreciate the. Uh, oh no! Help. Cheating! Turn it off. <laughs> there it went. There you go. Okay. Really hard to see him when you're above him. At. Yeah, super hard. Visual. All right. Oh, I'll take that. Ah, oh, I didn't have that lined up. His maneuverability is incredible. Huh? Do you see how he he just like went from being uh go going like left to right just to going straight down? How about gears yeah, or rope? Like... Gears. Oh. Oh. Change aspect. <laughs> <laughs> I that saw that bad. coming. I think, I think gear stalled. Yeah, I probably did. I got slow. I shouldn't have. But I'm having a very bad day this time. I was really great against the AI. I'm terrible against people. Yeah, it, it's totally different. Like it's not even the same thing. It's it, different it dynamics. Practice. Dynamics is, is different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, and I very rarely fight people. And it's it's always good. It's always that's all it's going to take is just to, to start doing it. And plus, you could they could lose you and make mistakes, so it's a lot more uh, more options. Well, the problem is, is I rarely have anyone consistently to fight. Like, 
Yeah, yeah that's true. Every once in a while. All right, so that was that. Um, go ahead and close out BMS, and then we're going to have uh, Frank and uh, Rody get in on one. <clears throat> All right, here I'm we go. I'm joining Gray Team, and I'm going to grab. And I, I sucked at that. So, no, you're fine. Uh, Rogue, you might no, have to uh, close out I've of everything. I've so much maybe. better. Because you went into 3D really... online. I've... Possibly. You, you could I try can. You, you could try, see if it works. If it works, cool. It worked with Gears. Okay. So yeah, I hadn't fine. closed the game since uh, Miranda. Or okay. Rody, sorry. Okay, we're going into who's, whose server? Rogue. Rogue Lee's. Okay. So dissimilar uh, air combat. That was... Let's see what I can do there. Okay, who's who? I am on the gray team. I will just be flying around somewhere. Making sure to get out of dodge. Yep. And then... Um, orange team will be a F-16 as well. So the 16s are enemy. The MiG-21 is, is nothing. So Frank, if you join up on Rogley's server. Uh, Roger. As the block 30? Uh, 40. 40. Got it. Okay, I'm set. You want me to stream? Yes. All right, you want me to go gray? Uh, go orange. Team. No, orange. Orange for orange. Get the block 40 as well. One moment. And then start your stream, Frank. Whenever you get moment. that point. <clears throat> Sweet. All right. Uh, Rogley, go ahead and join. And we'll hmm. make sure he's in. Once he says he's in, both can join. I'm flying. Sweet. I'm in. Okay, something's not right here. Uh, Frank, go ahead and join. Yep. Oh, look. That's cool. This pause. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I like the MiG-21. That's cool. Can you not join, Frank? Did he crash? He's still on there. Or is he loading? Give me a minute. Oh, there he is. Oh, and I have an F-16 cockpit. Nice. Isn't it weird? All right, so, um, so you're going, going against the F-16. Don't worry about the 21. So it's going to be the person directly in front of you, the two players. So they're both on the same team, the guys ahead of me? Uh, so the direction that the F-16 is coming from, that's that's the, the bandit. That's your your other player. The 21's not playing. Nope. Roger. Uh, lights on or off? Dead yeah, dead. I don't care. Yeah, up to you. Uh, if you got into a dogfight, what, what would you do? Um, gain some altitude and dive on them. Sure. Oh, for oh, for the the lights, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I turn the lights off. Okay. The dog, but cool. So yeah, now it's just uh, we'll uh, commentate when we can, but mostly it'll just be you two trying to kill each other. If 
prank stop using your rudder at 500 <laughs> knots. Gotta get that precision. Gonna rip off your tail. You know that happens on the SU-27 in DCS all the time. You use your rudder at high speed and it rips right off. Yeah. Really? Yeah. One fragile airplane. I mean, it's not made to use rudder at 500 knots. Now you want big, big, t big rudders like on F F thirty five or an F twenty two. Yeah, yeah. You just kind of spin in place. <clears throat> it's kind of creepy when they you see them do that. There was a really good article I read about maneuverability beyond the stall and how it's basically impossible without fly-by-wire. So, Frank, so, Frank, pay attention to your RWR. You're chasing the wrong guy. Hey, firm. I have no flares on this thing. Oh, it's a manual oh. button you gotta select or choose. All right, you guys have somehow miraculously found the player that was not playing. <laughs> like, it, I don't know what I happened. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now that you're, you're on the right people now, so as long as you see a, a 16 in front of you, then that's good. So yeah, there you go, there you go, Rody. you're in position, so kind of line it up. Oh. Hmm. And yeah, Frank, yeah, just keep keep turning back and forth, that's good. Keep changing your your direction. Try to get those uh symbology right in front of the jet. And then release or uh, ease up on the stick and then start shooting once you get into that position. Yep, so you got it under control to stay behind him there, Rody. He's uh, uh, increasing the range between you. See the negative 210 on your HUD? Mm -hmm. so he's, he's getting away from you right now. Watch the speed. Yeah, watch that, that number, the negative. If it goes to, like, positive, then you could start bringing down the speed. Yeah, Frank's is trying to get away. Follow him up. Trading the speed for, for altitude. Yep. Almost. Oh, regain visual. Where'd he go? Oh, there you go. What altitude are they at? Uh, 7,010. Up and around there. They were at, like, off the deck, but they zoom climbed up. <laughs> hmm. And he's getting away from me again. One, negative 160. But but you have the advantage since you're, since you're behind them. So uh, Frank, yeah. Um, so remember the the easing back on the power when he's behind you to kind of get him to go in front of you. That's always an option. Yeah, I, I don't. Oh, here he is. Because I'm pretty sure if you were to go to idle, pull a whole bunch of G's, they'll pass right in front of you. Wink. And I know both of you can hear this, so it's always an option to, to do that. 
Hey, Brody, roll to the right, look down 3 o'clock. Dude, don't stop turning. That's how you get hit. Yeah, so when you know Joy, look at the RWR. And keep looking behind you, see if he, if he pops up. There he is, right there. Right there. Oh, bullets. Nice. Uh-oh, you got hit. Uh-oh. Yep. Ooh, that was intense. All right, so let it do its thing. Don't press escape or anything. Just let it respawn you both. I see. The thing is, is once you stop turning, you stop fighting. Yeah. So when you're flying straight and level like that, and no joy, I mean, you're just well, actually, you're just a target. Uh, let's see. I guess rogue, you might have to eject. Done. And then now it should respawn everybody. Why are there three people? I almost forgot. I'm like, why is it still going? Oh, yeah. So, same, same. So, I'm, even, I'm not getting any uh, sound. Yeah, I, I think that's a bug. They're going to fix it next time. So, I was getting the same thing on a couple of mines. All right, uh, Frank, how, how far is the bandit from you now, Frank? Frank? Two miles later. Uh, six miles. Okay, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was six miles. Yeah, in times like that, if, if that was a lead, and I was like, how far is he, Frank? And then two seconds later... Went six miles, like it, that's. And and yeah, if you forgot to press the button. Yeah, and, and and if you're unable to give to do some say un, unable, that I'm I'm merged, and I'll be like, okay, he's busy. Hmm. I'm going to need to go to bed, because it's getting too late for me. Okay, yeah, I was going to wrap it up after this one. All right, well, have a good night. All right, see ya. I'll, I'll, rec I'll Later. record this on YouTube as well. Later. Cool, that'd be awesome. Thanks. Bye-bye. Where'd -bye. <clears throat> go? Hold on. All right, Frank, you can get him. Oh, not like, no. Yeah, father out. Thought, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, just go lag for now. Yeah, exactly. Yep, there we go. Yeah, just kind of, he's it's like trying to catch a butterfly. Just kind of, just kind of relax. And then once he starts, uh, stop turning, which will probably be never, but there are points in time between where he'll, uh, kind of give a, break. Yep, Brody, watch the ground, but keep keep going. And you can always pull back the throttle a little bit if possible. It can pass in front of you. But that, that's a 50-50 that's a shot. Being that I'm telling you it's not going to work, but in a sense where I'm not telling you anything, you can always do that to adversary. Yeah, when you see the bullets try to change 
change aspect when yep. possible. All right. <sighs> Crap. Probably go ahead and eject. We're gonna try it. Uno mas. Everyone eject. Yeah. Ejecting. <laughs> Sweet. All right, here we go. <clears throat> And there oh, goes Frank. Frank pressed escape. Uh, press, um, probably not gonna work. Press takeoff. Magic. Lucky. Alright, continue. All right, so Frank, what's the uh, what's the the best turning rate? Uh, approximately three fifty. All right, try to keep three fifty and see see how that does for you. Right, Roger. Yeah, try to maintain your speed at 350, pulling G's only to maintain about 350. I'm try trying to just prove a point here. So you're going too slow, so ease off the stick. What are you doing? So you need to, need to keep 350. All right, so you're going too fast. You're not at the optimum turn turn radius. So go ahead and pull nine G's to the left. Yep, there you go, Rody. Yep, keep it slow. So you see how Frank three fifty is not always a good number. Yeah, I. I dove on him too fast yeah so it's it's all it all depends on what the situation is like if you're going 350 and the and the the enemy is going 100 350 doesn't help for you did someone already crash whoa not yet i saw a fireball see anything everybody's still up i'm getting locked up oh never mind yeah he got me nice. you got it yeah, you gotta keep uh, if if it's close. If no, I see that. Looking behind, you gotta switch it up because you're within like fifteen hundred feet. So it'll be a yeah. good time to switch switch directions. But uh, yep, very good. Um, we'll go ahead and get out and look at some of these tack views we have. Uh, eject or escape? Escape now. Yep. All right, Damn let's it. go. After, let's go over these uh. Fresh ones, uh, Rog Rogla, you have a you have tack view. Uh, I think my trial is still good. You should be still be able to use it. Just can't host. Bum, 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 bum. What do you mean host? Because you could you could host a a session for tack view, and you can give control to other people in that session. It's really super helpful. Oh, okay. But now we're, we're just like going to use live Discord. All right, which one do you want? Um, the are they three of them, the the three most recent ones with uh, Frank and Rody. All right, I am loading that up. Oh, <clears throat> that. That'll work. That's fine. We can do this one. All right. For some reason. I thought. I thought each one would have been an individual one. Every time we loaded. Oh. I can load. No, that's good. That's no problem at all. Hmm. All right. Cool. Let's uh, go ahead and play. Playing. At one time. Oh goodness. 
<laughs> Take forever. Here's five times. I think that'll work. They'll probably slow it down once they get into the merge, but that's good. Yeah. All right, so pause it. So your speed is Mach 1.25 and 1.1. So speed is, is life, I've said it before, but not all the time. Because when you did this, um, I noticed, Frank at least, when you turned, you went from, what's that, like 500 knots? I don't think it has knots on there. So you went from point or 1.1 speed Mach to like 0.4. And you might have turned really quickly, but now you have no speed in that turn. So if you're going to turn quickly, either ease off on the on the G's where you, you might you might not turn all the way around and get the nose your nose on the target before the other person does but you'll still have your speed so instead of turning around and getting nose on the target at the same time having 200 knot speed left over you could ease off on the initial pull to kind of keep that speed that you have because speed speed is very good to have but when you turn 9 G's and bleed 90% of it doesn't do you any good um, so go ahead and, and play. Slow it down to, yeah, three. Three's good. Yeah, Frank went up that way. He's at 0.29. And now he's super slow. And Rhodey gets the advantage coming up behind him. I think he got confused off of Rogley. So yeah, you see the see that line in front of you, Rody. So you know behind the jet is lag, in front of the jet is is lead. So you're keep, you, in this case you would keep lag because you're just kind of chilling behind them a little bit unless you can get a shot off. The only time you would go right. to pure and lead is if you're going to shoot. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotta do. I gotta practice my aim. Yeah, aiming is yeah. I, I need to practice my aiming like. Yeah, I think uh, scud running between the hills actually helped. Yeah, it did yeah, help. It did. <laughs> he zoomed, zoomed, climbed up. So in this case, Rody, I, I would have stayed low because now you have low speed. For down there, you had speed, and I would have stayed a low, maybe a little in, incline, but not followed him completely. That's just my personal what I would have done. Because right. because if you go up, he goes up. It's hard for him to see you. So if you stay down there, then he doesn't see you, but you could see him easily right there so you can just keep an eye on him and he'll lose you and what I would do I would turn off my radar and come up behind him and then pop it on and I'm boo I'm behind you and that would have disabled the RWR yeah it would be nothing on the RWR yeah and then you would turn Dude, on the radar that's... right behind him because if you're in dogfight mode you can do a TMS down It'll cycle through your dogfight uh, radar modes, and one of them is no radar, no no uh, no rad. It'll turn off your radar, but you could still you know see. All right, let's go on the second one here. I totally failed this. <sighs> Everything is a learning experience. Yes. Yeah, I got to practice on it. Here's the merge. What the hell am I doing there? Looking around, it looks like. Yeah, mm. trying to find <clears throat> visual. Whoa. Yes, so so in that case, you should have turned into him instead of around, because you opened up the distance, and you would have probably had a more neutral fight, uh, Rody, at the top yeah. there. So in a case like this, um, it's like like bring back the power just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then I'll fly in, in front for the most part. Yep, and I did what uh, I read the other night. Do not, if you're in that circle, do not turn the other way. Yeah, don't switch it. Yep. Unless you're within, was it 2,000 feet? 
then there's it's a mm -hmm. better option to do that because if you're past three thousand feet, then it's not gonna they have enough time to recover or uh, adjust. Mach one point seven. So yeah, be before the merge in in these training missions, don't don't shoot until you merge. But of course, if you're in Korea and you're fighting against Koreans, then yeah, go for it. But in a training situation like this, wait till the merge. Yeah, unless otherwise told. Zoom in a little bit. Sorry. No, you're good. All right. Well. So yeah, back that up. Okay, yeah, go back to the little bit. Oh, great! I get to see myself die uh, again. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, are you still having problems getting uh, tally, getting visual, uh, Rody? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that that that's like a hundred percent, ninety nine percent of the fight is seeing no, absolutely. them. Hey, when when you see bullets flying, try to change your your ass. If, even if you don't see them, like mm -hmm. you see bullets, like go 180 degree uh, roll, and then go in the other direction, height permitting. But uh, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna go over uh, me and prom dates. Uh, screen. And if you have any other ones, uh, Rogley, go ahead and get it set up, and I'll go after. I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, Rogley, when um, yeah. uh -huh. when, when I get done no, with mine, no. with me and prom date, Rogley can play one of his other ones. Okay, so this is the first one. I I lost all visual on you. This is ugly. I looked at it already. Oh. Yeah. See how mine? I'm at Mach one, chilling around Mach one. And then see how many G's I pull in this first turn. The I, I, I turned a little bit, so his angle of attack is two G's one. The six G's he's pulled seven G's. So let me um. See, hold on. <laughs> you got to select one of them. They're both selected. Uh, selected objects. I think I turned it off because there was too much stuff going on. Where is it at? Turn rate. And then turn radius. All right. So, I'm gonna it. so here, stop it. Yep, oh, <laughs> definitely, definitely did. If I would have saw you, I definitely wouldn't have done that. We turn. I'm pulling uh, my turn radius. Well, yeah, my my turn rate is 21. Uh, degrees per second. Over here, it's 15 degrees per second. So I uh, will turn, will be nose hot quicker than he is. Yep. But my turn radius is, is more. So it, it's, it's weird. So my, my turn rate is, is quicker, but my turn radius is more because I'm pulling 7 Gs. He's only pulling 4 Gs. Uh, I'm going 384 knots. I'm going quicker. He's going slower. So it just, it just all depends. So in this case, I will... Time-wise, I will get my nose on him quicker. And well, he stopped turning, but I got nose on him. Almost needs <laughs> live. So he's coming down, and, and I'm always keeping my my canopy on him because he from yeah you put your bottom of your jet towards me, and and that automatically like loses. Loses visual. Yep. You have the open side of your canopy on the... And this line right here, that's your, your lift vector. So as I was saying, you want your lift vector towards the other... Towards the bandit. I think you got visual here. See, see this line? See the line. I'm kind of pure. This line right here. I'm pure on him right now. Yep. Yep. And then because I, I was I was descending, so I need to pull more 
G's to not speed up as much. That's why I was pulling pure. Now I'm lagged because I'm all the way behind. So here comes the defense because at this point I do see you. Pick up a little speed. And it's creating, King. creating problems. And he's getting ready to shoot. So we're going to reverse. I hit the brakes on there. Yep. Speed back up a little bit. Still looking over my shoulder. I know he's getting ready to shoot. And whoop. And reverse. Yeah, right, right past the bullets. <laughs> Cut, looking over the shoulder, reverse. Come back this way. I know he's getting ready to shoot. And problem, you still have eyes on him all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah you if see, I, you see my, my vector, my, uh, my lead, it's like barely mm -hmm. in front of him. And I'm getting ready for a shot. And then he switches. So, yeah, I'm looking over my, as soon as I reverse, I'm immediately looking over the other shoulder because I got a good general idea where he's at. And we're still going, losing altitude, still going down. And I can feel it. So I'm looking over my right shoulder. I'm looking at him the whole time. Climb back up. And I know right around here is getting ready to shoot. So I'm still looking. And then that's when we reverse again. So he's getting ready to shoot. Yep. Whoop. Not today. <laughs> I think I might have hit you on the last one, but uh, I think so. That, that, that was, was pretty close. That was good. So they're so fixated behind you. Yeah. You pull down the power, and they'll whoop. Yep. Going pretty fast. Take a hard turn here. I'm gonna bleed some speed here in a little while. Turn. And you could see, if you're looking behind, you could see the other person's jet nose go ahead of you, lead. Yep. And then you, you switch. You can kind of see the bottom of their jet a little bit. So you, can, you can see the intake. So those gotcha. vi visual cues. And then, yeah, that's when I'm going, like, pulling back on the throttle. Yep. Right. And I notice it. I'm like, oh. I pull hard, hard to get behind you again. How many how many G's did I yep. pull? Going two two ninety or so. Pull four four G's in the like the, the horizontal axis to get right. behind you again. Then I'm like, damn, it didn't work. So I see him there. See him coming back. Still trying to jink here and there. Picking up some more speed. Setting up that, that lead there. Setting up the lead over here. And switch. Well, 8G eight, eight is going a little faster than me. St still pulling lead. I think you bear I think I might have hit you on that one, but I think I think that was I think it, you yeah. Might have dodged it, but that was super the timing was impeccable. Like the moment I started shooting, you you uh turned off mm -hmm. and I think one of these might have attempted okay that was just a roll <laughs> he's easing in I feel death coming yeah you just feel it you feel like you're being <laughs> watched alright let's uh, change other person
that it was that one. Yeah, continue in a, a wonderful dance, BFM. <laughs> Got him. So when we went one circle. No. Yeah, this is a, a two circle, and as you can see, my turn radius is 12, so I'm not pulling as many G's. Uh, his, or turn rate is 12. My turn radius is four and a half. Uh, his, his turn radius, or rate is 17, 31. So he will get nose on me quicker. See how he's almost more than halfway there and I'm still getting it around? Yeah, but he's bleeding off yeah, speed. But he, yeah, he has zero speed. He's 177. I still got 250. Yep, and uh, I'm a little higher, but just based off of speed, I have the advantage. Even though he's hot on me, if if he had missiles, then that you know I don't want to be in this situation. But since we just have guns, I have the advantage on speed and a little bit of altitude. Turn around. Let's see. So I'm pulling two G's. He's pulling three, uh, eight turn radius. Or turn rate. So I'm maintaining my speed. I think this might have been when he was trying to get him. I was trying to get him behind me. So now he's behind me. Uh, so I pull. So when you're, when, if you want to lose speed or get out of the way really quickly, you could pull straight down and pull a lot of G's. So you could use gravity gain or maintain your speed. See how I'm pulling 6 G's and maintaining around 350 or so? And slow down at the end so he could possibly get in front of me. Kind of roll over a little bit. Still bleeding off speed, bleeding off speed. He's still at 300 knots. You noticed I was uh, coming up behind you here. And he's reversed it. Now he's behind me. Now we're just fighting, fighting for it. So right here is completely even. So you see this line right here, if he is behind my lift vector, like in this area, I'm losing. If he's in front of it, I'm winning. Same with this way. If I'm in behind him, he's losing. So you have to get try to see, make sure the person is uh, slowly inching their way in front of you so you can get a shot off. All right. So if you see these two little lines... So right now he's he's in front of me, and I'm in front of him a little bit. But uh, I I have I have a nose like on him more than he does. But it's still pretty neutral here. We're not going to get all shot off anytime soon. But just based off of the the lift vectors and see how he's kind of even right here. Still pretty even. I'm getting on the on his six a little bit. goes back neutral and I extend because we're losing speed and they're getting pretty low. I gain some speed. Come back around. Pretty sure prom day you're gaining some speed too. Yep, exactly. Now he has more speed than I do. I'm able to turn uh, in a shorter distance. My turn radius is shorter. But his turn rate is quicker, but he has to go farther. Yep. So I, I could, since we're close, I, me turning shorter is important because we're close. It takes less time for me, or less space for me to get my nose back. Coming back, so we have about the same turn characteristics, roughly. Both head on. I changed my so if I would have kept going straight, he probably could have got me going straight. So I changed going down. I wanted to get out the way. But it was a head on shot. Back hot. Still no 
shot. Ground speed, I'm slow, he's fast. <clears throat> Same altitude. And on a couple of those, I was trying to watch my G, so I wanted to maintain like around 400 knots or at least like 360, 370 while maintaining the four Gs, and that really does work. I was yeah. picking up speed. Just just go lag for a little bit. You're still turning, but you're gaining gaining or maintaining your speed. So good to do in between turns and stuff. Yep. Come back and dancing, still dancing. Oh, that's when you got me on the nose. Because I, I I kept I kept hot like I'm straight up. I didn't move. I didn't go anywhere. He went bloop. I was like, oh. <laughs> And that was that. <laughs> see, so this is a one circle. Yep. So uh, he's point zero or one point zero eight. I'm that, and he's going point nine. So we turn initial turn. Five G's for me. Four G's for him. Uh oh, five G. Oh, I'm getting right mixed up. So I'm going four and a half. He's going four four point five point one. Turn rate twelve. My turn rate's not as not as uh not as hard. I'm keeping my speed. See, I'm still going Mach one. I'm still bringing it around. And even though I'm going faster, my nose is more on him than he is. And this is a good example when you lose visual, how quick you can die. Because, yeah, this is when you got me. Lost it just for a little while. So this is why the the one circle is all about turn uh, rate, not about radius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep my 14. Keep my yep. 14, keep 15. I go to 15, and then boom. I'm already in position. And I'm st I still have my... Well, we're at the same speed now. But I got nose on a couple seconds before... Even though we're, you know, not really a shot, but right here, I'm in front. I'm trying to get above him, so I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm, I'm gaining altitude to get above him and then slow down as well. So, knocking out two things at once. And it's when you said you lost visual. Or probably have it here. Uh, definitely. Yeah, at this point, I'm dead. I think. I think. Yeah, smoking on that one. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's BFM. You know. Nutshell. But yeah, we're gonna start wrapping it up. Um, Frank, what is one thing, one in one, one for you? Well, um, good thing you didn't lose against humans. Bad thing is, uh, got destroyed by the AI. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what's uh, so yeah, if if you can't try to stop using the rudder at, at high speed. Um, l slower speed is when you start possibly using your rudder like I was saying with gears when you're in a, a, a low speed battle and you're going down you can kind of use your, your rudder into the turn kind of cut the corner a little bit that's that's when you can use the rudder uh, uh, the real thing disintegrates if you apply, apply the rudder at high speed yeah if you're going 500 knots and you put full rudder the vertical tail will probably rip off not in BMS not but in real apply. life yeah but I mean if you can get a kill while using rudder, then I guess. But if you get killed <laughs> while using rudder, then I mean that's your problem. Uh, Brody, what is one and one? Oh Jesus! I did everything bad. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, you, you, you were you were getting you ha we got the uh, I think the one thing we did today was showing you the symbology and where to put the pipper at on the target in front of you. So you were no, doing I did good that. with that. Just need some yeah, precision I, I, adjustments. Mm -hmm. And uh, Prom, he just let me shoot him down. 
<laughs> but yeah, just uh, practice and visual. Yeah. You know, always have tally. Yep. No. Visual. Oh, last night I uh, prom didn't have visual on me, and I got them twice. Hell yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Yeah, so this like, is all. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, no, I was just gonna say, and this was just like our first round together, so it wasn't gonna be perfect. The whole thing was just a good learning experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, probably anything you want to add? Uh, one on one for you, if you if you would like. Anything you learned today? Anything I learned? Yeah, le learn anything today? You want to add anything to the training session? <clears throat> I learned the one and two circles. Nice. Very That's nice. That's for sure. I was wondering what they were talking about in those uh, videos. Yeah. Different different tactics and depending on your <laughs> weapons load and and stuff, you want to one circle over a two circle. Yeah. Uh, prom date, anything you want to add or anything you learned? You learn anything? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I made the uh, same mistake that I made last night when I was flying against a uh, roadie. When you make that initial turn on the merge, if you have a bad habit, like I used to and I broke out of it, but since it's been a while, I kind of jumped back into it. When you start making that first... Uh, merge turn if you have your eyes on the bandit and look back at your hood for too long even two or three seconds and you turn back in because by then he can jink or go up or down and you completely lose visual and yeah. at that point you're just in a steady turn and one mistake you're already messed up and that's usually what happens because it goes by really quick oh yeah so that, that was definitely a bad thing bad habit i gotta kick again and then good thing i'd probably say yeah with the defense Still got a little bit of the touch with the jinking, so and then yeah, reversing. Yeah, because that's that really, good. yeah, that's that's really important. And eventually, you want to work your way out of that because if you're steadily in burner, and of course trying to fool them by having them overshoot, but then you got to watch your fuel state because that fuel will disappear quick. Oh yeah, and then yep. you'll be in a another world of crap. But yeah, yeah, that's my good and bad. Yeah, just stay visual and maintain good defense to work yourself into a good offensive position. Keep visual, kill them quick, and get out of there. Yep. And for me, uh, I have to get quicker on aiming because you were drinking back and forth. I had plenty of time between your jinx to to get a better shot on. Um, so if if you if you spread, if you uh decrease the amount of time between your jinking on the defensive side you you decrease the window that the offensive person can get you at and if you keep right. turning back and forth and and they're not good to get their pipper on on you in like a like two seconds then they they already lost so it's back and forth back and forth so to be able to counteract that i would have to uh be able to snap my uh pipper on the target quicker yep exactly uh, exactly i was gonna say something i forgot it's uh this It'll come to me. So that's what I did with gears. With the, I knew she was gonna, uh, I knew she was gonna turn right back in from a jink. Uh huh. And I'm upside down to her, and I still fire because I know she's about to get into that spot. Uh huh. Yeah. <sighs> but <clears throat> um. Oh, one other thing. When when uh when you're when you're defending, I, I think I showed it with the with the tack view. Try to keep the the open part of your canopy towards the target. Don't have them underneath your jet because you lose visual completely. So yeah. If, so if you're if you're trying to adjust, try to adjust and keep you the the bubble part of your canopy towards the the bandit. Um, and if you don't have uh, visual cues inside the cockpit because there's a you can have the the pilot's mask in the cockpit when you're looking up and you can have little arrows so it's like a little carrot oh, yeah. pointing on the forward. canopy yeah so you know which direction you're going when you're looking around exactly and then once you get proficient because like when i watch your stream i notice how you know very rarely on prime's uh 
behalf, he's looking back at the hood unless he needs to. You oh, know, yeah. To check that's, it. That's, that's what I forgot. So, yeah, there's, if, if you can't see the HUD when you're looking at the target, there's no reason to look at the HUD. Like, if, if you're looking back at your 6 o'clock and you're looking in the bandits, right, there's no reason to look forward at your HUD. You got everything you need right there uh, on your head-mounted display. And then I, I for exercise, I turned it off for some people, and it uh, changes. I did it with Frank and, and uh, Rody. When I when I had you turn off your your HUD, or no, it was it was gears and and Wait. Rody, I believe. I had you turn off your your head mounted. No, display. it wasn't me. Yeah, it was it me. me. Oh, so so how did that feel? Was that was it different? Um, or did you not have enough time to? see the differences for me it's kind of hard to answer that question because i have flown with and without okay so i'm kind of just used to it that's fair because uh sometimes if it's gone you don't have your altitude and speed anymore right in front of you so sometimes you do have Very to go true. back to your hud to look at your speed well as I said, because of the amount of time I've flown total, you have to start listening to everything else. Yep. The force of the engine, and kind of occasionally look down at the ground and see how, how big it is, how pixelated it is, to kind of gauge your altitude Without and your speed. look forward. Exactly. Yep. So yeah, that was another thing. If there's no reason to look at your HUD... If, if he's not within your 10 degree forward, there's not really a reason to look at your HUD. Just always keep an eye on the bandit, wherever they are. Yeah, I think it's just like you said, using the, the reflection or the arrows or the mask reflection. Because I think sometimes at the beginning when you have the rust on and uh, your pad lock, pad locked on the bandit over your left or right shoulder... I think sometimes you may be pulling wrong in the stick and actually gaining altitude and losing speed, and then that kind of forces you to look back at the hood, correct it, and then you think you can just snap back over your shoulder and find him. Yeah, he's gone. But, but, yeah, yeah, but by, exactly. By then, he can already maneuver under your jet or over it or wherever, and you don't see him, and it just takes those few short seconds, and then yeah. gone. That yeah, was a prime, prime exactly. example of what I did earlier. Yep. Yeah, because I did it a couple of times tonight, and I was like, oh, uh-oh. But yeah, yeah, good practice though. Very nice. That was, that was a that was a great idea with the streams. Yes. Yeah, being able to actually visual and yeah, with the uh the acme and everything. Yeah, that was yeah. that was awesome. Sweet. Well, I really appreciate everyone. Hopefully I didn't hopefully um I know I was teaching it, but I'm still, you know, not a professional or anything, but I, I enjoy teaching things and I learned stuff myself too with um Absolutely with Jinky Hell yeah. and going through the through all the documentation and stuff, so always learning. Yeah, I think that was damn good. Really good. No, it was excellent. All right. Absolutely. Well, till uh, was it Thursday? I think he put Friday on an accident, but I'm not sure. No, it yeah. was Thursday and Friday. Oh, okay, sweet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. Awesome. Hell yeah. All right, all so right. I will. I will see you guys T and F Thursday and Friday. Indeed. Yep. Had fun. Oh yeah. Hey guys. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Oh, prom. Yo. Clouds. When we went into um uh configuring the uh graphics card. Mm. All of a sudden, now my clouds are just uh, blinking on and off. <laughs> oh, you can, I think, uh, what's that setting? Allow or clamp in the uh, NVIDIA settings. Yeah, you, uh -huh. can, yeah you, can, you can switch that up. So if it's on clamp, change it to allow because it has like shimmering and stuff on objects. Yeah, we can take a look at it. We can play with that. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've, I've had that too. You just got to keep playing with the settings until everything's good to go. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about uh, just uh, resetting everything back to default. But uh, no, that was it. That was, a, that was my question about the clouds. Yeah, yeah, we'll give that a try because it's usually just one or simple things. Everything else you should 
most likely be good to go. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to work on this video, make some chapters on it, make a good little tutorial video for everyone. And, okay, uh, no problem. I'll be seeing and you Prime on Thursday. What? Nice. Uh, when you get a chance, uh, can we chat? Uh, yeah. When you get a chance. Yeah. Cool, Alrighty. cool. All right, yep. guys. Catch you later. See ya. Later. 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 Rogue.